Hey, it's Jess here from Nine Jess Creates. Thanks for joining me today. So I'm going to be making some tags for in here. I've got lots of um, blank pages that need pockets and tags. I've just shoved some things in there to show that's one I've just actually um, made. But, you know, we need we need some some more in here. A nice pocket there with that that would look stunning wouldn't it anyway these are the tags that i'm making and journaling cards and i'm going to show you how i made them all i've got a little freebie with these butterflies so uh, do stay tuned and i'll show you everything you need to know to make these um, i'm going to do some i'm going to make some tags for my garden jigsaw journal so i've done things for the collab and um which you will have seen but i need some more things it needs tags and journaling cards and pockets so i've added a few things that i made at the rachel bella retreat um to this um i'm gonna put belly band there i think with that one um, but most of these things that I've made in here, I do have um, videos on. I think that was my latest, although by the time you see this, it might not be um, my latest. I did this. Those need backing. But I took a bit of this is the only bit of crafting that I've done since I came back from my Easter break, um, which was amazing. But I'm, I'm shattered. So I just stuck these bits of ephemera down. I think these are Rachel's ephemera from Rachel's kit as opposed to Angela's kit. And I just stacked them up. So the pocket ends where that card ends. So I need a little bit of a, I need a littler tag than that one in there. And um, yeah, I mean, that one would go in there. And then you've got a teensy weensy little pocket there. And so I cut these out of the, um, of the little kit. I need to back them. But I thought, oh, they look quite cute in the bottom of this pocket right there. So, yeah, that was my idea. I could always change my mind. So I need to make some some tags and I thought, let's make some quick tags. And I thought I need some more butterflies. My butterfly uh, collection is replen it needs replenishing. Um, so I sat the other night watching telly and created this sheet of butterflies, which I will put over on my Kofi for you. These ones are quite big. But then I set my printer to print two to a page. So we've got them like this. And then I set my printer to cut them four to a page. Now I have shown on video how to do that um, before. I just look in your settings and there should be somewhere in your printer settings to print multiple pages. I am not clever enough to know. Well, I tried and it was a faff to... Um, shrink this down and create a page like that the only way I've done it before it reduces the quality of the images so because like that is a JPEG and I've done it so that I've put two JPEGs side by side but it does as I say reduce quality and um, I don't think that's that's not good enough so I just tell my printer to so um, print them multiple per page i can go on but i think that's about the right size um there was a bit of me to think oh i could do them even smaller but i mean you can also tell your printer to print them um let's say 80 percent, and that would shrink them down but then you get wasted paper and i don't like that so i'm going to cut these out with my scan cut um and then i took some of the beautiful pages and i printed them two per page as well so that i can Cut it in half there, and then I've got some nice tags. I have printed on the back so that these are going to be really quick, she says. Really, really quick. So I've picked out um, these two pages. Don't really need much adding, but I will add to, to this one. And I thought butterfly. And I love, 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 love collage sheets. And I particularly love this one because it's got bluebells and I love bluebells. So again, I put something different on that. Now what I did was I told my printer to print this in draft and it didn't work. So I think this is more or less as dark as it was, but I think you could still write on that. So it didn't matter. So I am gonna run downstairs because that is still where my scan and cut is, get these cut out, come back and we'll, we'll get decorating and make some 
quick must make tags to go in our garden jigsaw journal so there we go i have all my butterflies cut out well i say all of them they aren't all cut out and i was telling this rach from rachel bella crafts contacted me asking me about a scannel cat because she was looking at getting one and um so i said i love mine look at all those that i've cut out but it's not perfect so there's the sheet with the big ones in and it didn't cut them now it didn't cut them because i told it not to because it wasn't recognizing the outline so it wanted to cut that little bit of blue that bit of yellow and those bits of blue and not the actual outline and that happens sometimes because what the scan and cut does it doesn't see the image it just looks for an outline and when i chose the butterflies to put on i chose ones that i thought had a good outline now i did go in with a pencil and that's something that you can do and i did draw a pencil line where that yellow was because i thought that's maybe where it's seeing an outline and i did join these up here and on this one i joined up there I scanned it again it was slightly better but it wasn't brilliant so all i did was tell the scan and cut not to cut those and it's cut the others and that's absolutely fine um the medium sized ones it it kind of in the same position so i laid it on the mat like that so i wondered if there was some sort of fault down there was you know light wasn't getting in properly because it didn't want to cut those and it didn't want to cut that one either but i'm happy with what it did and then <laughs> my theory about that being the problem um was kind of blown out i think that one went in like that so that was kind of blown out of the water it cut everything but that one okay um it would have cut it what i mean is it wasn't showing the outline so um yeah so that's just something that i say to people you've got to be mindful of it's not perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut that out cut that strip and that out and that out and i'm going to put it back on the mat in a different position because sometimes that happens that i just put that in a different position on the mat and then it will cut that i'm going to cut carefully with my guillotine because i've printed this on um 200 gsm cardstock so it's not thin paper it's it's 200 and i'm i'm hoping to then use these as little interesting stencils um to use with my gel plate i don't know if they'll work i thought it's worth a try so i am just gonna slice that it might be a one and done template but i thought might get some nice butterfly patterns i could use it with ink as well um but i thought that would be worth a little a little try i'm going to cut that one down there um so i'm then gonna just take that one i might then just have a row of butterflies that's quite cool so i'm going to put that one down on the scan and cut to cut again and i've got a little row of butterflies to use as a stencil and the same here oh might need to be a little bit careful on this one i might not manage that one that one there is a little bit close to the edge so i'm going to cut there got a little bit of an issue there but i think on this one I'm going to cut by hand because that one's over a little bit and on this one i'm going to cut along there that's a nice little stencil and there i've got three in a row as a stencil and i'm going to get another three in a row when i put that back on the sheet so i'm going to get them cut out um it literally took so um i think it was about three minutes for the bigger size probably about the same for the medium uh, for the little ones it was seven minutes on the scan and cut cutting those out but that you can go make yourself a cup of coffee whilst it's doing that so yeah and i would have been hours and hours and hours 
my hands would have hurt so much um, that uh, yeah it was it really wasn't going to happen um, hand cutting these out I mean I might have left the odd one to hand cut but I am gonna try and see if just moving these on the scan and cut will in fact sort my sort my problem out and get them get them cut out I might leave that on there and then I'll have another row of three I might be able to do something with that so I'm going to cut these out and then we'll come back and make our tags there we go so um for, it, st it still didn't want to do those two i tried it i repositioned it a few times it didn't want to be those two but it did all the rest so i sit and think well if i've only got to cut out two um i can live with that so um yeah so i say scan and cut not perfect but it's good enough it's good enough so there we go so whenever it, Buddy sort of says to me oh do you recommend it I always say yes but you've got to realize and then I tell them all these things um, so now let's get started on making uh, the tag so I've got these sheets so I'm gonna chop them down the center these ones because that's how I've done them to be chopped down the center I do have a marker on on it where um it's kind of half half the sheet i often don't quite manage it but that's that's good enough i ain't got my glasses on so that's not helping can kind of see where the sort of line is there we go this one i don't necessarily have to chop it in half because it wouldn't actually matter on this one if i chose to do different things because although that's the pattern repeated i don't necessarily have to do this one that way so i'm thinking i'm not gonna although the way that's orientated does kind of lend itself yeah i am gonna ignore me i am gonna just chop them all in half gosh i'm gonna have oodles oodles and strudels of things right now this one we've got a little bit of uh i might just leave it on for now so i might cover it with something but sometimes when i feed it in i do end up with a bit of a white band because because i do so um now i can do I can cut this in half and then I can cut it in half again which no that's not half again Jez um, so it'd be two and an eighth is about half again that gives me some little little tags like that yeah this one I might not do that I might I think that was this in half wasn't it yeah I think that marks that in half and I can have some journaling cards like that yeah that works on that one quite like that whole image there so i might do um a nice three inch wide one there and then this one i might now go in half so about two and a half ish to give me two like that that works that'll work now i've got a lovely two inch punch so i might take that bit off the end there and give myself a two inch tag and then i might do two three inches they're roughly that one that's nice and then that one yep have that so don't really want to do the same thing again on this i want to change it up so i might do two and three quarter there and then i 
I've got five and a half. So maybe do the two inch there. I'm going to get half a butterfly. I could be doing this upside down so you don't see it. That'll do nicely. And then I might cut this in half. So ish. Go about there. The two journaling cards. Yep. That'll do. It's not quite in half, but that will do very nicely. Right, this one, I'm going to go. Going to go two and a half. Because that's gorgeous. Might do two on that one. That's nice. And then this one, we've got four and three foot, so we'll go two and about the. Mm, what if I did? What if I did? What if I did that? They're pretty. They'll do. They will do very nicely. So I am. Very easily just chopping these. I'm kind of looking where I might be about halfway ish. Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, do the same on this one. I think they're quite nice size tags and just stunning. Stunning and beautiful. I think that one's a nice two inch there. With that flower, I think that suits well. Shall we just make that one a nice bit of a fat tag there? That'll do. So I'm thinking that I might make journaling cards here. them yep and that one shall we do some tags yeah there we go all chopped up that was quite quick that was quite quick right so um let's get let's get me corner rounder right i'm thinking just gonna lob it off. I didn't think too hard on that one. What have I got something to stick on it? Actually, no. Changing of that mind again. I might stick something on it. Yeah, I could stick something on it. That would look quite nice. So yeah, in the decorating process, I'll stick something on it. So right now, I'm just gonna round corners. Yep, so that's what we're doing on these rectangle ones. Like them. Um, last night I watched, or was it this morning? I can't remember. Um, I watched Tracy Fox doing a master board. She did it a while ago, been away. And uh, yeah, I was watching her doing, cutting them up into different sizes and different shapes. So you end up with a massive big stash. I'm putting them to one side because these are, they need the tops, the tops on them. So I've got this three-way corner rounder. I'm using the middle size one, it's my favorite. So that's, that's how I'm rolling. And this picture is so beautiful that I'm thinking, a butterfly and a sentiment is really all it needs. Now, this one's a bit bigger, so I might go for the bigger, the bigger corner on that big one. 
up to middle size. So yeah, so I've been away. I have, I'm not sure if I've said this already, absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of people that have commented on my two collaboration videos. Um, yeah, and it's taken me a while to get through them. I am going through them and um, giving you a heart and a thank you very much. Or, or if you've asked a question, answering it. Uh, I mean, it's a nice problem to have, to come back and have several hundred um, comments or even more to answer, but it does take time. So I am doing it and I just really appreciate it. And I went through the 9,000 subby uh, milestone, which I can't believe. And I did say I was going to do a giveaway at 9,000. So that's coming up um, when I am a little bit more in the zone. A um, few things going on in life, which is causing my head to not be in a good place. So, yeah, so I've got to get around that. But, and this is, I have, I've sort of sat at the craft desk and kind of looked at things. And um, I did some harvesting of a couple of magazines because I couldn't think, couldn't think to, to craft. Crafting's my therapy, but it was just not doing it for me. Um, but anyway, enough said, I'm gonna cry. Um, so there we go, nice tags, nice big tags. Get your big round bottom there. So. This can always be fast forwarded through, and I may well fast forward through it if the video is too long. There we go. There we are. So they need some ends on. So I've got all these little tiny little tiny little bits. Go you in the bin. And then we need our Tip top topper. Here we go. So I've got three sizes again. I'm going to use the big one on these. Uh, and then we'll we'll put in some sort of hole. I'll probably do some circles and hole reinforcers. I do have a slot punch. Oh, is that my two inch one? So let's have. Stick that down. Nice little top. Super. Right, let's find all my two inches. Marvellous. Want some more? up there this is a retired stamping up punch you do sometimes sell them on selling sites people de-stashing you're bigger than two inches aren't you yeah don't think you are though i think you're fine there we go no more twos you are. I do have two styles, but I'm going with this one rather than changing out. There we go. Then we we'll go back to these ones. Now I've got another Stampin' Up punch that I like to do tops of. That's this one. So you can do. I'm not sure if this is still available. Don't know. Not a Stampin' Up demonstrator anymore. So kind of. I kind of don't know. There we go. But there's lots of other sort of punches on the market that you can get to do these things. Or use a credit card. Just get a credit card and cut 
reaching across, just cut slants on a credit card, and that gives you that gives you tops as well. Did I punch that hole? Yeah. Right, we'll turn you around that way, so we'll give you a different one. So I like the tags to look a little bit different. I could have used this on all four corners for a thingy, but I didn't. I didn't. There, put you in there. Make a little slot. It's also got a slanty bit there, but I think it's too big. That slanty, much bigger than any of the options I've got in this. And I think it's too big personally, but I like the other two. So we're, we're, we're all right, really. Um, I'm not going to do the slanty hole on this. I'm going to cut this out and we'll do a different 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 closure on that one so yeah this is making a gazillion tags and jillion cards which should oh i don't know that i like that right won't use that on that little one actually i think it was just a little bit too narrow for it but we'll use it on these Do love a bluebell. We'll be going out probably on a little bluebell walk very soon because they'll all be out. Didn't see too many on Easter, so I go for a walk every Easter. And uh, that sounds like I'm just going for a stroll, doesn't it? Um, no, I, I, it's 120 miles. Um, and um, I didn't, I walked about 70 of them. So which for somebody with rheumatoid arthritis, I was pretty tough myself actually. And um, the longest I walked in one day was 12 miles. That did, that did exhaust me. And, um, but I'm glad I did it. I was uh, dead chuffed myself about that. That might've been too, no, it wasn't. We, you tried them just, it wasn't two inches. Um, yeah, so, so we walk through lots of countryside, we go through, we start in Colchester in Essex and walk up to Walsingham in North Norfolk and, um, we go through Essex, Suffolk and Norfolk and yeah, seeing lots of flowers, but didn't see many bluebells. So that's that. That's them all ready and done. So some of these, I think, don't actually need very much. They just need a little bit of a, a butterfly, I think. So we'll get these ones out that I've got. I don't want to cover these beautiful images too much. So... Let's get them all out. And we'll think about that. And I've got my um, my words that are over on my Kofi. I hope those of you that have got them are enjoying them. Um, and the butterflies will go on there as well. So when you go and get grab the butterflies, you can grab the words as well. Got them in different colours, and they're um, spring, spring themed, and general generic sort of journaling themed as well. So we can pick out what what we want. So. Let's have a little look. So you've laid them all out there, Jez, in there. So I qu quite like the idea of a butterfly just sort of hovering near a flower, but that's qu quite near the top. So um, I'm not really sure. Now they do need inking, um, in my opinion. If you're not an inker, you do, you, well then don't ink oh that one that goes nice with the colors on this i think or is it getting a little bit lost in there i think it is lovely for the color it might be getting a little bit lost so 
it might be better somewhere like there where you can see it a bit but yeah it's getting lost there Jess I like this sort of colorful one here I think we can do a bigger one on there will the bigger version of that get lost not quite so much actually because it's covering a larger surface if I ink it it might show up a bit more um, Oh, that was the other thing sometimes you get the scan and cut. I hadn't noticed, but it cut the body out. <clears throat> but that's fine. Yeah, that can go on a, go with a paper doll or something, can't it? You're nice. I like you there. I uh, don't think I want the orange ones in this. I don't mind the green one. Although, yeah. Bigger version of that, but... Uh, that one's lush. I like you. You're pretty. Uh, oh, no, you got the wrong colour. So I was kind of going through and picking different colours so that they'll do with lots of, lots of um, projects. Have a nice yellow one maybe bigger there so it's like flying by that uh, yeah quite like them oh you've got two there Jess you haven't, haven't done yet um, shall we have you on there, yep, yeah. and want something a little bit littler. Oh, it's two there. Yeah, quite like that. So I need I need two ink. So. I'm going to get my little dauby dauber and um, see, so there is a little bit of antennae on some of them and some of them it's gone completely. Um, where there's a little bit of an antennae, I think I'm going to, yeah, you stand out a little bit more. Like that one's got a little bit of an antennae on it. Um, so I'm snipping him off because I don't want it. Um, the scan and cut picks it up and um, oh, just dropped something. No idea what I've dropped. Um, yeah, it does pick them up and it does attempt to go around. And sometimes they're pretty intact. But sometimes they're not. So you do sometimes have to go in and just finish a wee bit off there. And um, no hardship. Still better than cutting the whole lot off. Now, you'd be bored to tears if I went round and inked all these up. That one's okay. Those antennas are intact and are all right. So you can stay. So I could waffle on and talk about nonsense. Whilst I'm doing this, but I think I'll just shut up and um, and then just do all the inking round and I will be inking around. tag like so as well and then we're gonna pick pick some words so let me get those picked out and then I'll do all the inking and um, yeah so do I want to do the words in yellow I think it I think it kind of goes let me try. 
I did something the other day, it's a video that just recently came out, where I did put yellow word on and then I changed it because I didn't like it. And my friend Ronnie sort of went, oh, I'm so glad you removed that yellow le yellow label, because I did. Um, she said I was shouting. I was shouting at the uh, at the computer screen saying, no, it needs a Tracy label. And that's exactly what I did, was I changed it for a Tracy label. So, um, I may or may not, I think, but I do think that yellow is what this project wants. So this is what I do, and it's a little bit easier, is I take my stripper words and I ink the top and bottom. And then I was going back there to, to re-ink my dauber and the lid's on the ink. So there we go. Um, yeah, and then it just makes it all a little bit quicker. So then I just, let's just rip them where we might want them. Right. And just randomly, not thinking, and just sticking things. Now that's a yellow butterfly. I'm not sure that I want a yellow word with a yellow butterfly. Actually. So we'll just do those for now. Um, and I'm not doing that one. I don't want a yellow butterfly with a yellow word. I think I want something darker. So that. I quite like. But I like I like the accent like that. So you've got. Why is there not one up there? Don't know, Jess. So you've got the butterfly on top of the word quite like that I think that's quite a nice way of doing it that sort of thing I like the way that looks I also like to stick a bit of cheesecloth cheesecloth or just found a bit under here a bit of my um, faux rice paper you could so it's got a little bit of something behind to make it to make it stand out so either that no that's right on the bottom of the screen for you um, or a bit of cheesy cloth Could have just a little bit of cheesy cloth, like so. That is where I'm going with that. So I'm going to do all the inking, and um, and then um, come back to you. Might speed it up, and then you can always jump it if you don't want to watch it.
Okay, so that's all the inking done. I'll have to do a few more butterflies. And that took about 17 minutes. And, and I hurt. I hurt a little bit, but hey-ho. Hey-ho, Mary-o, let's carry on. I won't put you away. I'll leave you there. I might need you. Right, so I'm going to make a little bit of space so we can kind of see what we're doing. My sponge is nearly terminal. That's what somebody once said to me. Your sponge is really terminal, Jess. It was, made me laugh. Made me laugh. So I can either just put the flower down there and have, a, have you up there. I'm still not convinced about you, actually. I'll put you there. And then we'll have flower coming along there. Yeah, I think we can do that. Um, so, bit a bit. Bit a bit. A bit a bit. A bit. I need, I need a bit. I need a bit of this. A little bit of that. And uh, that work yeah 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 so let's put a bit of glue stick on there stick this down Let you go nicely let's have a little bit of glue so what I'm going to do is just put a little glue on the edge of there and maybe stick that on there. Yeah. So then we'll put a bit of glue on the bottom there. Go on there like so. Yes. Yes. Because this is 200 DSM cardstock, I'm using some art glitter. I do find that art glitter wrinkles paper. And I'm thinking that I might grab another butterfly. So we've got two. I am covering most of that flower though if you do that, Jess. Mm, yeah. Just put it underneath then. Uh, no. No. No, no, no. Leaving it as that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to finish one off before I go any further. So we want a hole reinforcer. I've got loads of hole reinforcers in my little tin. Um, oh, I've got one with a flower on. That might be cute. That'd be cute round there. Yeah, I think it will be. We'll stick you down then. So a bit of glue just round. Round that hole. Where's my glasses? They weren't the glasses I was looking for. I think these were the glasses I bought to replace the glasses I couldn't find. And then I found then I found them. So I've now got two pairs. And I've got a pair of very focals, which I hate. Um, but stick you on the back. I don't think I ink the back of this one.
Don't forget to adjust. So she's got a very pale back in, and I think I gave the pale back in away with the vintage checks that are on my Kofi. So you can grab that there if you want to. Right, and then we need a little bit of a, a tie on it. Right, I am, oh, looky, looky, looky. What about that? I think that might that work. This is stepping up colour. Name escapes me. So we can't tell you. So stick you through there. I'm not going to do them all with ribbon like this. Now I'm going to take a bit of twine. You all do. And I'm going to tie a little bow. This takes much longer. I think it's pretty. So I'm doing it, but I won't do them all like this. Some I might just put a bit of cheesecloth because I like that effect as well. There we go. Oh, split a nail. I split that right at the beginning of my Easter pilgrimage. First night of meeting, and it's annoyed me now for nearly two weeks. But I'm kind of hoping it grows and I can cut it down and then it won't split all the way down. I don't know. Really need to do something about our nails. But I haven't had the time nor inclination. There we go. I might trim that down a bit. It's looking a bit. There we go. Like it. So that is what I'm doing on them all. So I'm thinking I might speed up. Must do a few more. Maybe not all of them. And um, and then I'll bring you back at the end to show you all all that I've done. This one. It's going to have a different, a different colour. I've got some brown ones cut up. Will that work? Brown or black? With a bit of nice paper. That's a possibility. Or I go or I go for the black. And cut out a few blacks. We've got some here that are more generic. I'll rip them last few really badly. Printed this sheet on 120 GSM. Harder to rip. Printed this one on ordinary copy of paper. Much, much easier. Should we have blessings? Because I had a lot of blessings last week. Whilst I was visiting so many churches. Norfolk is full of the most amazing churches. Beautiful stained glass windows. I think I like you. I think I might change you though for some cheesecloth. And then I might put some cheesecloth in the top as a tie. Because because of, because that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Then I've got a bit for a tie. 
said I was going to stop and show you, but this is just another way of doing it. So I'll speed up after this one. There we go. Probably enough for me. A tie. And then we'll have a bit here for that. Yeah, you need a bit of inking on you because you're not being inked. Stick you back in there. Right. There we go. And then I will be, when this is done, I should have enough for finishing off my journal. I have to do a few pockets still. And that will be me. More or less. Done. Take you off there. A bit more. Down there. Yeah, we love you. Love you and you and you and you. There we go. Stick this down, but not press it right hard because I want to put I want to put the blessing underneath. Way too much glue on there, Jez. It's my glue favourite. Do what I want with it. Well, yeah, but you know. Right, let's get you straight. There we go. Straightish. Everything's ish for me. There we go. And then we want. Now I'm thinking I'm going to pinch this idea. I think. Am I going to do that? Am I going to do that? I was going to say I'm going to pinch this idea from a Tracy Fox. Yeah, I think so. So. Excuse me for reaching up, got a slot punch, got it for Christmas, bought it because I saw Tracy use one. And we're all enablers, aren't we? So stick that in there and then I'm just going to push that through. So I've got a goodly bit. And then I'm going to take my little stapler, if I could actually see where it was. I've had a little bit of a tidy and a sort. There it is. And I'm just going to go in there. Staple that in place. Yeah, liking that. Liking. Liking that. We've got a little bit too much. I'm going to trim it down a bit. There. That is two little styles that I'm thinking of, of doing. So I'm gonna get on and finish the rest. And then I might, I won't film this on speed up. I'm just gonna finish the rest. And then I'll do some of these with you because they'll be different. These ones that are not got the, the lovely floral background. So I might do something different with these. Okay, so I have gone through and I've decorated um, all of these in a similar way. The 
journaling cards I used a bit of my sort of faux rice paper that I made and I did them all pretty much the same I didn't want to cover too much of the beautiful papers and then the tags I just varied sort of what I did at the top I think some of these you've already seen some of them I added a second butterfly to and uh, there we go um so yeah I had lots of fun doing them and I've now got oodles of tags and journaling cards to go in the journal I did start um on the the other the other bits but I've decided that this is really gonna have to be its video in its own decorating these I've done a few little sneak pee preview I can't speak um of 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 what I've done so yeah there'll be the next video will will be that and um yeah so that is that is today done hope you like that and now I can start stuffing pockets and things um in here that aren't already um stuffed um she says flicking through can't find a pocket oh I could chuck one in there um, um I might change that for one of the other ones that I've made um but yeah so we've got something in there we're gonna have a belly band there maybe not the right color got some nice um blue going on there my, my hope was to have something to go in with this um, um maybe one of the journaling cards actually Jezebel uh, oh might have to trim it a tad is one of them narrower right we'll trim them a tad and we'll stick these um in there I think um I'll stick that in there so that I know I've got some more um pockets to make um for for these to go in uh, so I'll be doing that I'll probably have a pocket there um with something um in there so that is that's it really that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing i think i'm gonna end up with more than one signature now that i've made all this stuff um but that's that's not a problem um so yeah do come back um to watch the next video of decorating these i'm doing these quite different so just give you some more ideas thanks for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe there'll be photos coming at the end um, of close-ups for you.